Hi, this is Susan Camfield with SueStamfield.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be making an adorable treat holder out of stamps, ink, and paper, and we're going to use a new bundle and punch. So I'm super excited to share this project with you. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be creating with the Turtle Friends Bundle. This bundle is adorable. It comes with this cute stamp set. Um, you've got the turtle with the matching shell. You can put some words inside there instead of the pattern. Um, lots of fun little greetings. And then some cute images that you can use to um, have a turtle theme. So super cute. And then of course it comes with a matching punch. You've got your little turtle there. It also punches out the uh, pupil whoops, pupil and the eyeball there. So if you wanted to just do one punch, you could decorate it just with the punch alone. It's super cute with the stamp set and that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm actually making a 3D project. Um, this is for the Stampin' Up! incentive trip in Maui. And uh, I signed up for the 3D swap that Stampin' Up! organizes. I'm using the Evening Evergreen ink here and the Soft Succulent cardstock. And I'm gonna grab my turtle here, the larger turtle. This is the one, the stamp that lines up with the punch. And I'm going to stamp it onto my um, soft succulent cardstock. So adorable. Uh, I wanted to do the turtles because there are a lot of sea turtles in Hawaii. This is not a sea turtle, but it just seemed appropriate to me. <laughs> kind of a Hawaiian thing. Um, so I'm just going to hover the shell over the um, outline. And I know if I can't see the outline. I should be lined up pretty well. Now this is a very solid stamp and I'm stamping on a colored cardstock which is a little rougher than our basic white. So I am giving it lots of pressure and holding it down for longer so that ink has time to transfer to the paper. So I've got my pattern on my little turtle shell there. I'm going to go ahead and close up my ink pad and ink on my finger <laughs> and then I'm just going to punch this out with the uh, matching punch so I turn it upside down and I line up my little turtle there with the punch and punch that out so cute and we're going to grab our um our tag. So I pre-cut some tags. What we're doing is we're going to make a turtle tag. Ha, try to say that five times fast. A turtle tag from the Taylor Made Tag Dies. Woo! So I am using this shape of tag dies. Now it comes with a little um, uh, set of three little um, reinforcers, I guess I'd call them, to go over the hole. So that gives you the option to make kind of a two-tone color effect. And then this set of tags comes with the little circles. So um, I, you can kind of see what those reinforcers look like. I cut kind of a sample of all of them and left them in the package so that I um, can use those tags. Um, so we're going to make uh, uh, our tag here. And I, I cut my tag with the second from largest and then the next one down. They are layering tags. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my... Um, to my white tag here, the basic white. Just put some dimensionals down the middle of it and peel the backs off there. So you could also stamp this turtle on white and you could color it then. This one is kind of the, uh, we're kind of going the easy road here by doing it on the the light green cardstock and stamping the darker green over it. I think a pear pizzazz and old olive would be another um, attractive combination so of, of greens. So we've got our turtle here and then our turtle is going to go right on top of that tag but I'm going to add a greeting. I already stamped this. This is from the set. You are turtly loved and so I'm just going to take a little bit of my seal plus and I'm just going to put a little bit of that adhesive at one end of my tag and that's going to go right here. And then I'm going to add a couple more. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, hold on. So sad. <laughs> Don't worry. I have lots more. Um, I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of my turtle. So I've got my two dimensionals on the back of my turtle there. And I'm just putting them right in the center because I want it to stick to my tag. 
and I'm just going to adhere that right on there. So now we're going to add some ribbon. I'm using the polished pink ribbon. The tag that I cut here is from the designer series paper, the 2021 through 2023 in color 6x6 designer series paper stack. And I'm just going to cut a piece of this ribbon. I want it to be kind of to a point there because I'm going to be threading this through the holes on my two tags. A handy tool if you happen to have one when you have to thread things like this. Um, uh, dental floss threader works really good. Um, to help get through these holes if you need it. So, all right, so we've got that pulled through. And we're just gonna tie it in a simple knot here. and tight there and then we can just trim our ends off nice and close to get our kind of our faux bow going now I'm going to add one more thing to our little turtle friend here um, and that is a uh, um, Hawaiian flower. So we're using the loose flower flourishes. These come in three of the in colors. They come in polished pink, uh, fresh freesia, and pale papaya. And I'm actually using all of those colors for my turtles for the swap. And I'll show you those in just a minute. Okay, I might take your pick tool here and I'm going to take this glue dot and I'm actually going to fold it in half because this flower is quite small. And I don't only need a half a glue dot to stick that on. So I guess this, maybe it's a female turtle. I don't know. Men in Hawaii probably wear, wear Hawaiian flowers too, don't they? So there we've got our little turtle created. And now we're going to grab our bag. So this is the, um, these are the ombre bags. They do come in all of the in colors. So when you order the bags, you get to, um, Every, you, every color is represented, and you can see that darker to light ombre. Um, let me see how many bags are in the package here. Uh, let's see, there are 20 bags in the package, so you get four of each color. Um, I'm, obviously, I'm using polished pink for this one. Um, and we're going to grab our... I'm going to grab my Simply Scored, but it's just too big. I'm going to grab the paper trimmer because it fits so much nicer. So I'm going to lay my uh, bag in my paper trimmer, and I'm just scoring it at two and a quarter. Um, you could just fold it down. Uh, it wouldn't have to be scored. It's just that uh, I want all of mine to look the same since they're for a swap. So I've got that, that creased right there, and I'm just going to fold um, back on that. Uh, now it does have a seam on one side, so that's going to be the back. This will be the front of my little gift package here. And I'm just going to crease on that fold. And we're going to adhere our little turtle to the bag. And then we'll just pop a treat inside and we'll be all set. Now for a treat, I wanted it to kind of match my project. So I um, was able to find these turtle bites. I actually got them at Walgreens. So these are the dark chocolate pecan ones and these are the original which are milk chocolate. And so um, I am putting one of each inside the bag and let's just put some dimensionals on the back of our tag here. Peel those off and pop this onto my little bag. I'm just gonna have it off to one side there like that. So there we have our cute little Hawaiian turtle. And we're just going to open the bag and pop in our turtle bites. And fit 
two in there. You could probably fit four in there. It just depends how many you want to put in there. And then we'll fold that up and that is just ready to gift. So let me show you what it looks like in the other colors here. So I've got the, the polished pink, got the pale papaya, and then the fresh freesia. I may also use, um, so all of my turtles, where are they all? Let me see. Here they are. All of my turtles are in those three colors because that's what matches the little flowers. Ooh, this one has a big flower on it. <laughs> I must have run, I think I was running out of that package of, of, uh, of flowers, but I have more here. So, so um, you can see I did the different colors, um, but I also think I can use the green bags as well, just with the... Um, The different colors will look just just as cute on there because the greens are in the the turtles uh, cardstock and the ink so thank you so much for joining me today for this video um, a super quick and easy project really um, and a lot of fun to make and I think they will be well received so thanks so much for joining me um, tune in next time for more videos and um, if you would hit subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, that would be great. If you're watching this in my Facebook group, um, please comment. Let me know that uh, what you think about this project, and thanks for joining me. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.